classes that conform to the observable object protocol can be used in more than one SwiftUI view. And all those views will be updated when one of the published properties of that class changes. Now in this app, we're going to design a new view specifically for adding new expense items. When these is ready, we'll add the item to our expenses class, which will automatically cause our original content view to refresh its data, so the new expense item is created. To make a new SwiftUI view, either go to the File menu and choose New File, or just press Command N. Please choose SwiftUI view under the User Interface category, then press Next, and call this thing AddView.Swift. It'll be open for editing. As with our other views, we're going to start off real simple with our first part of add view here. We're going to add text fields for the expense name and the amount, plus a picker for the type, all wrapped up inside a form and navigation view. They should all be old news to you by now. So let's just get into the code. At state private var name is an empty string. At state private var type is personal. And at state private var amount is 0, 0.0. Then let types be an array of uh, business and personal. Inside the body is our navigation view with a form, a text field to enter the name of the expense bound to dollar name, then a picker for type with a selection bound to dollar type, We'll then go over for each types with the ID of self with a unique text of dollar zero. Then after the picker, we'll add another text field. Scroll down, text field to read the amount of the expense, bounding value to amount with a format of dot currency. I'll just do a code of USD. And then keyboard type will do decimal pad. Then add a title, add new expense, like that. As you can see, that will always use US dollars for the currency type. You'll have to make that smarter in the challenges later on for this project. We're going to come back to the rest of this code in a moment. But first, let's add some code to content view up here so we can show an add view when the plus button is tapped. And in order to present this thing as a new view, we've got to make three changes to our content view. First, we've got to make a new at state property up here to track whether add view is being shown currently or not. So we'll say at state private var showing add expense is false. Next, we've got to tell SwiftUI to use this Boolean as a condition for showing a sheet down here. And then we'll do that by attaching a sheet modifier to our current uh, view hierarchy. And you can use this if you want to, but the nav view works as well, it's down to you. Either way, you want a modifier like this one. Sheet is presented, is dollar showing ad expense, and then we'll show the ad view in here. Now our third step is to put something in here, in the sheet. What do we actually want to show? And often there'll be a type of thing you want to show, like ad view. Here though, we need something more. You see, we already have the expenses property right here in our content view. Inside add view, we want to be writing code to add expense items to that. We don't want to make another expenses class instance somewhere else. Instead, we want to share the one we made already. So what we're going to do is add a property to add view over here that will store an expenses object it will not create the object there, which means we want to use at observed object rather than at state object. So add this property now to add view. At observed object var expenses is an expenses. We aren't creating it, I'm saying it exists. And now we can, and in fact must pass that here, we make our add view. So they both share the same object. They'll both monitor that same thing for changes. So we'll say add view expenses is our expenses object like that. 
Now, we're not quite done just yet for two reasons. First up, our code won't compile, and even if it did compile, it won't work because our button doesn't trigger the sheet. The compilation failure happens over here because when we added the requirement for our expenses object, we didn't modify our previews. These previews down here and view previews, they're used to generate the Swift UI canvas on the right over here, and we're trying to make one without an expenses value. That's not allowed anymore. We can just pass in a dummy value, a little placeholder value instead, like this. Expenses is a new expenses object like that, and that'll be fine. That means our code compile again. But the second problem is that we haven't got any code to actually show the sheet, because right now our plus button just adds test expenses again and again and again. Fortunately, the fix is trivial. Just replace all this code here in our button action with showing add expense equals true, like that. And now we're a step closer. If we run the code again, we should be able to press plus, to see our new sheet slide in, asking for a name, a type, personal business, and then a value down here. Slowly, slowly, we're getting there. 